So, the classic Tomb Raider games are being remastered, Tomb Raiders 1 to 3, and the developer, Crystal Dynamics, have decided to add disclaimers to the start of the games that sound a lot like trigger warnings to me. But why would Tomb Raider need trigger warnings, you ask? Well, probably because we live in an age where some people can't resist the opportunity to virtue signal, and some people can't resist the urge to be offended by insignificant and completely irrelevant nonsense. This article is from Bounding Into Comics. Tomb Raider remasters will remain uncensored, instead feature performative disclaimer condemning harmful content of original games. Harmful content. Who was harmed, exactly? What harm was done by the Tomb Raider games? Harmful in what respect? To hypothetical straw man snowflakes? Hmm. In a move that, while an admitted step in the right direction, still signals that the Western video game industry is still much too focused on performative activism than it should be, Crystal Dynamics has announced that though their upcoming remasters of the first three Tomb Raider games will release completely uncensored, they will also feature a disclaimer decrying the harmful impact the series has supposedly had on players. Spoilers, it hasn't had any. Although such content disclaimers or warnings are utterly ridiculous, it has to be said this is certainly preferable to having the actual games censored and neutered and changed in some respects. Could this be a kind of compromise and a sign that pandering to the pearl-clutching perpetually outraged is finally coming to an end? So the article continues. As discovered by series-centric news outlet Tomb Raider Chronicles, a day ahead of the remastered Trilogy Collection's February 14th release, upon booting up the game for the first time, players are presented with a one-time disclaimer informing them that the games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics. The Marvel's Avengers developer's Mia Culpa continues, Rather than removing the content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered, in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. <laughs> it's a video game. It's fiction. Can the players of the game not be entrusted to understand that? I mean, who complained about these aspects of the games when they were first released? Way back. Uh, please cite actual demonstrable examples of harm caused to any group or individual because of these third-person perspective video games. I mean, if you're going to include such disclaimers about perceived racial and ethnic prejudices, why not include a warning about how Lara Croft occasionally has to shoot and kill wild animals in the games? You know, to appease animal rights activists and or vegans or something. I mean, the fact that the animals are just computer-generated polygons notwithstanding. Though the developer did not provide details as to which specific cultural depictions they felt warranted such a warning, an educated guess suggests it was made in reference to the various local enemies encountered by Lara Croft throughout her first three adventures, and more specifically, the Polynesian tribesmen enemies depicted in Tomb Raider 3, Adventures of Lara Croft. The article goes on to say, not only is such an act a disservice to the artistic vision of a given title's original creative team, but it's also infantilizing to audiences as the presentation of such a tut-tut implies that audiences are either too dumb to separate the real world from fiction or too fragile to handle anything outside of their bubbles, which, while an apt description of the terminally online <laughs> this warning was obviously made for, does not apply to the other 99% of players who are capable of critical thinking. And that's absolutely spot on. There's a kind of smug moral superiority and grandstanding about such content disclaimers that really irritates, with players being talked down to. But moreover, the kinds of people who would be outraged by any such content in the game are not generally speaking the kinds of people who would purchase and play these kinds of games in the first place. I suspect most people will just ignore these warnings, roll their eyes, and continue playing, making them completely pointless. Anyway, 
The full article is linked below for you to check out. That's a quick one for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.